the combo that won them two games in a row, but they just couldn't quite yeah, finish it. Couldn't quite clutch it out. So the Game & Watch and Diddy Kong combo is going to be nasty. I see um, that Nigel is going Fox instead of Pikachu. Pikachu. He went Fox during his um, during the earlier games as well. Okay, yeah. There's a lot of Tijuana hype right now. Looks yeah. like they're representing in the stream. Oh man, SD God's in the chat now. Look at him. Shout out to SD God for uh, being too young to drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, get, <laughs> I think we're like the third combination of people to say that. Well, we all love to poke fun where fun is due. Uh, but, so for this match, it's fairly even for trades. Uh, Mr. Gaming Watch has come out ahead a little bit. Um, I'm just not going to let him get away with it, though. He's definitely going to get in there, because uh, Fox's dash attack actually breaks through a lot of attacks. That's true. A lot of people don't realize that, because it looks like it wouldn't be anything special, but it is. It, just, it has a lot of priority. Yeah. It, more priority than you would expect. And uh, we have Sexo here. He's really trying to uh, catch people with that up B because it's so powerful, but he was unfortunately caught before. Sarah going ham for the up B, too. Oh! Missed that neutral air. Yeah, it was, honestly, it was just too far away to connect. Oh, got the footstool, but he got punished for it. That was unfortunate. It's unusual that you get punished for footstooling somebody. Yeah, I know. Like, how often does that happen? Whoa, he had the head invincibility, oh, but he got it anyway. Was a beautiful cleanup of stocks by the Absolutely. They're reading each other's minds. Oh, no. Yeah, making luckily sand because, castles out of Fox right now. Yeah, but luckily because Fox was buried, he took less knockback. So, I don't. If you guys didn't know, when you're buried like that, you take a lot less knockback. That's why you see Zero Suit Samus waiting until the person gets out of her bury. Oh, wow. That was nasty. I look away for a second, and suddenly stocks are even. I, I need to wash my hands. That was disgusting. Um, but yeah, you'll, you'll see uh, Zero Suit players a lot. Like, if they bury with their down B, they'll try to get the down smash, because that takes them out of the ground and stuns them, and then you get the up B for the kill. All right, so we kind of have a reset now. Um, it's actually very even, with the exception of Diddy Kong having a little bit too much damage right now. Oh, but Diddy Kong got... Hit by and I saw the game watch hit. I, yeah, that was I didn't his own see team, the other right, right. The team kill. Yeah. Yeah, that was disgusting. Almost caught him off guard with the up B. He got punished for it. He just walked up to him. He said, "I don't give a shit what you do. I'm gonna walk right up to you. I am fearless." Oh, great play by Nigen right there. Knowing yeah, exactly what that game really watch is going, going for those up Bs though. Sexo is He's, not. Yeah, well, he's starting to get kind of red, I think, is the problem here. Yeah, like, I, I feel like he's feeling the pressure, like, he feels like he needs to do something. So he's going for these super risky up Bs on some on, like, uh, shields, and right. it's just not working for him. As Fox loses a stock there. Yeah. Fox lost the stock, but there's still a, uh... uh oh, he's gotta watch out for the second hit of that key. Yeah, a decent lead, provided that uh, Zero Suit doesn't drop. Very nice neutral to uh, neutral arrow. <laughs> Ooh, That's gonna hits them both it. and takes out Game & Watch. Alright, now I don't think they're going to try to style so much, uh, because this Giddy is not completely bad. Yeah, don't try for it. Yeah, Giddy. he's actually really good, like, uh, with his techs. That was weird, but we'll take it. Yeah. Ooh, is Fox going to die? No, not no, quite. Not quite. Man, he's this putting Diddy a... putting in work right yeah. now. Fighting hard. He's like, I do not want to go out like that. Oh, that's gonna probably yeah, that's yep. it. He got a he went for a risky maneuver there. If if it connected, that would have been a good hit on the fox, but it didn't. So that was just a free punish for him. Down smash for days. All right, so that was game one. Very clean, very clean. Definitely two very evenly matched teams here. Slight edge to uh, Cerritos and Nylon since they're coming out of winners, but still very very evenly matched. See where they decide to go. Looks like they're going to FD. Final destination. So, as far as who that's going to help more, I'm thinking it's ultimately going to help Red Team more. Oh, 
Sarah had the uh, costume change. That was what the problem was. Oh, now that he's wearing the right clothes. Yeah, and Nijin too. But honestly, that could also mean that they're using different customs. That is also true. But from uh, what I've seen, it looks like both of the green team members are using this vanilla characters. Um, I the last game Fox was using the custom recovery. Was uh, he? Yeah, the one that kills super early. He was using it, but I didn't see him use it ever. Like offensively, obviously. Right. I think if you were to try to pull it out at some point, then it would actually. Uh, it would definitely be a uh, yeah, cause surprise a, to his opponents. It's surprisingly easy to land if people uh, try to stand up from the ledge. If they just stand up instead of rolling or jumping or attacking, and you hit it, the hitboxes are out, so you can catch people with right, it pretty, exactly. pretty easily. Exactly. Still an even match. Nobody's dropped any stocks yet. Um, both teams vying for the center stage. And there goes Game and Watch catching that up smash. That up smash by Game Watch is so good. Yeah, it's disgusting. It, it, it's got uh, invincibility frames on it. So, ooh, <laughs> the stylish kill by Saru. Somebody give that man a band aid. He just got fucking beat on. He's at least got to hurt that ego. Ooh, Fox barely avoiding the up smash there. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out like what tactics is going on. Like they're both kind of fighting the one v one on the each side. Honestly, kind of. what it looks like to me is it looks like they believe that they can take the other person one on one. So it looks like they're trying to isolate them so they can't team up. Uh, that's what it looks like for me as well. Excuse me. Um, because there's not a whole lot of team combos actually going on for either team right now. They're just trying to fight out 1v1s on each side. Which, um, maybe they feel comfortable that way. Who knows? Yeah, honestly, if they do that, I feel that it's actually in green team's favor. Because um, both of them consistently perform very well in uh, oh, yeah, these tournaments all around Southern California. If you guys don't know, uh, Cerudos, who's the Zero Suits Amos player, and Nijin, who's the Fox player, are some of our top players in uh, San Diego. I believe Cerudos is six, and Nijin is eight. Yeah, believe, somewhere around there. there. That's about right. Um, I will say that they also, even though they're not on the official SoCal PR, they do uh, beat a lot of those guys oh, yeah. often. Fairly consistent. Cerudos, also a uh, German import. For those who don't know. Oh, yes, he is. That's cool. Drum exchange student. Very nice guy. Very good player. Oh, yeah. There um, goes Fox losing his stock. Yeah, he has improved quite a bit since he first showed up. So uh, he's feeling really confident about going back to Germany as far as how well he's going to place once he gets back. It's so hard to approach when your teammate's standing right in the middle of him. Like, what do you do? <laughs> Fox taking the lead on that. The, uh, ledge oh, game. that was perfect timing and spacing by Cerritos right there. Oh, they actually went for the share stock. Yeah. I think that was a bad move uh, for them because I think in the 1v1, uh, Diddy Kong is much better. And then Game Watch? Yeah, yeah, and the 2v1, I think he's going to be much better than that because he has higher mobility. That up smash is nasty. The invincibility frames on it yeah. is so good. So Game & Watch, just like Sonic and a couple other characters, can up E out of that. Yeah, they have a built-in combo breaker like Luigi's Nair. Um, just press a button and get out of the uh, stupidness that's taking place. Oh, he hit the flame. That was interesting. Yeah. Unfortunately, the uh, forward smash for Game & Watch extended the hitbox and actually did... Uh... Oh! Oh! Solid hit. All right. Well, it's getting Game a little watch. bit uh, yeah. scary looking here. Oh, oh taunting the taunt. <laughs> And gets punished for it. Honestly, Sarah's not going to stand for that. Catching that backer on him. Let Sarah do the work. He's the one that got taunted. And there it is. That's what you get for taunting, guys. Yep. Up be out of shield. Very safe approach option for Game & Watch's dash attack. All right, so this is a tournament game for Green Team. If they win, then they win doubles. And then we will definitely be starting uh, singles. singles right after. Yeah. Didn't they say they wanted to start singles at 3, 3.30? <laughs> yeah, and it's already 4.30. It's getting a little bit late. I think we can do it, though. Um, oh, yeah, we We're just going to need to spread out uh, the games. There's not going to be as much friendlies being played uh, right, throughout exactly. this singles tournament for time constraints. 
Back to FD. Mm -hmm. So back to FD. Still a uh, neutral game. Goes to red team just by character pick. But um, green team pulled it out last time fairly simply. Uh, I feel they should be able to do it again unless the red team makes some serious adjustments to their play style. Yeah, but after dropping two in a row like that, and, well, really it's three in a row considering the fact that they lost to them to get into losers. That is very true. They already got beat by these guys in a full set once. Um, and then they've already gotten beaten twice. So um, they may start to play on tilt. So far, it, it, at the very least for Diddy Kong, it seems like that's the case because he just gets comboed everywhere. Yeah. So did you see that right there, Fox? He knows that Game & Watch wants to up the out of it, so he's just jabbing. He's doing a one jab lock followed by a grab because he's actually grabbing Game & Watch out of the up beat. Yeah, um, the jab reset on Fox is actually really strong, and a lot of people don't expect it. Um, to oh. come out. And for a lot of characters, there's nothing you can do about it. If it happens, it happens. So oh, there's that custom up B. Yeah, he's still not uh, catching anybody in it, but he, he really could, and it would be a nasty early kill. I'm not sure which is more powerful, but it's very similar to the Me Brawler's custom up B. And there goes Fox. So suddenly, Red Team taking a two stock lead. Oh, they, yeah. They are at high percent, but. So it's like they. Uh, they might be getting the download on Green Team here. Um, we'll stop to see. I see Game & Watch going for the key a lot. Uh, the down air out of the uh, the recovery move, the upbeat, it is, I don't think it's very safe. I feel um, like. Well, I mean, he's been connecting with it, so. Yeah, a lot of people forget about the shock wave, but as soon as they remember to do it, like, it's going to be very, very punishable. Yeah, it's true. That's all. Wow! wow! Just barely touched. It's like a, it was almost like a tipper. That was one of the dumbest things I've seen in customs in a while. Shoutouts to Tijuana for bringing in the hype. Sir, so coming to Nigel's aid right there. Oh, but gets the gets the classic hoo ha right there. Mm -hmm. We can't even call it hee ha because that was so strong. Come out super fast. He said, get off my stage. I'm kicking you out right now. Fox okay. styling on that Diddy Kong right now. Yeah, it's, it's looking really bad for the green team right now. They're taking too Ooh, much damage. But doesn't quite get the stage spike. Yeah. Nigel going a little too early on the, the down spike. Almost well, it, it was more he was just trying to recover than anything else. Well, no, like for his down smash, trying to catch him. As oh, he yeah, yeah. He, he just did a little too early. Um, but yeah, the, the 1v1s continue. They've switched partners now, though. Uh, it looks like it's been working for the red team, the, the character switch. Ooh. Oh, my God. Fox almost had the upbeat. So I don't know what red team noticed, but it definitely is helping them out. Green team is on kind of their last legs. Oh, there goes Seru. And there they're goes Fox. Yeah, they're just uh, going to reset and go into game four. And I'm getting a new name tag. Um, I will say that that is not oh, yeah, true. Right. I forgot about mine. I am uh, actually not drunk right now, but I'm trying to get there. Uh, slowly but surely, because I want to still have fun and like place well in singles. That's why I'm not drinking yet. But this tournament is more for fun than anything, That's so you true. should be drinking. All right, you've convinced me. I'll get one drink before the See? start. See? Peer pressure gets them every time. <laughs> Dutchy drugs, kids. Yeah. Very good game by Red Team. Uh, Tijuana Crew bringing it back. Um, so the the set's currently two to one. Uh, the odds are stacked in their favor, but their last showing, they could definitely do it. They just have to keep the press for the next two games. They can reset the bracket, and then we'll see a set two. We might see it. This time, though, we go to Battlefield. This, I feel, actually uh, helps the green team a lot. Um, Fox's up smash and uh, a lot of Zero Suits moves actually go up above the platforms from the ground. Right. So um, that's really going to help them. However, Diddy Kong... Ooh. Oh, but doesn't get the stage bite. No. And see, that's what I was talking about right there. He went to do the down air, and it was not safe whatsoever because Nigen just shielded it and punished him for well, it. Well, they... What... I don't know. Did you hear what I said about Lilat earlier? About why they chose Lilat to block the key? They noticed that. So I think that's why they chose Battlefield this time, too, as well. Possibly. 
then again, it, most people don't play light light anyway, so like if you have a little bit better working knowledge of the stage, then like you can set up for things better than other people. Right. Because the fact that, it, you know... Oh, the key just went through the platform then. Yeah, that Maybe was that. super awkward right there. Sarah going for the down smash, trying to stun Game & Watch, but not quite Ooh, doing it. Gets hit by the Diddy forward smash, but it was across the stage, so he was able to survive it. Yeah, very good DI. Sarah surviving uh, the Game & Watch up spike from uh, down being off of him, and then catches him with the forward smash. Absolutely amazing. That was a good call by Sarah, jumping over the manhole. If he went for a grab, he was getting tossed out. Ooh, but Nigen drops his shield right there. Yeah. Red team definitely taking the neutral a little bit better than the green oh, team that's, right now. Oh, oh that was man. a tough situation for green team right there. But yeah. great DI by Sarah. Heavenly DI, making all the way back. Oh, Nigen going that for this hard of piece. better. Yeah. Oh, got the nine, but it was shielded. Nines are so hyped when they happen. I was like, oh, snap. I'm not. I was playing Game Watcher Friendlies one time, and I got, I threw out the thing five times and got a nine three times. You know what? That happens to me oh, a lot. Oh, the spike! That was disgusting. So Cerrito seems to be tired of the shenanigans that are happening because he still has three stars. Yes, that has been mentioned many a time. Cerritos. Uh, the green team's Akalogs have been uh, shouted out to Ooh, several times, but red team is putting the, the work it. in. Already an even game. Uh, Diddy Kong's a little uh, dangerous area right now, but, yeah, but that could, just means more rage. Yes, he could bring it back. Uh, a rage Diddy Kong is a scary Diddy Kong. You definitely have to respect it. Monkey flip not quite connecting. Ooh, great down smash. Yeah. And a, followed by an up smash, but not enough. Nigen's ledge game is on point, especially with Fox. Like he just, he's got that timing, man. And that's hard with Fox to have a good ledge game. Just, just oh, that's gonna be it. The hype. That's it. That I cannot see Diddy Kong coming back from this in any conceivable fashion. No. He has a long way to go. I mean, it is not impossible, but it will be very difficult. Because like as soon as you commit to any move that doesn't come out immediately, uh, you're gonna like, get punished, gonna by, get punished the, by the punishment. teammate. Yeah, you really need to take out uh, Fox if you want a chance. Yeah, and then immediately take out Sarah because they will share stock just to uh, cover the options. Yeah, exactly. Those See. monkey flips—they are not respecting them right now. Well, Sarah thought he was gonna go for the kick, but he went for the grab instead. Oh, that pivot grab was nasty. Awesome though. Awesome work by Sexo. Those up tilts went on so fast. He's like, almost got a kill on both of these characters. Why is they didn't try and go for the ledge trunk? Yeah, I'm surprised that uh, Nigel didn't come over for that down smash. Because if he had the timing right, that'd have been game. Uh, he, they didn't even bother. They just wanted him to come back. Ooh. Worth. That's gonna be game. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Green Team. Congrats, Nigel guys. and Cerritos are going to be our grand finalists for. Doubles at Good Smash yeah, number three. Yeah, Super hype. It's been a ton of fun so far already.